Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another 5 minute card video. Today I'm going to show you a fun technique using rubber bands and an acrylic block to create a plaid background. I have a variety pack of rubber bands and there's lots of different thicknesses inside this pack. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that you have a variety of thicknesses, different widths. So I'm starting with my thickest rubber band and I am placing that around this long acrylic block. Now you do want to make sure that your rubber bands aren't twisted for this technique. My second rubber band is very skinny and I'm using the grid lines on the block to make sure that the rubber bands are straight. They don't have to be evenly spaced because plaids usually aren't evenly spaced. So wherever you end up putting these, as long as they're straight, and you can use the grid lines to make sure they're straight and they're not twisted. So my final band, my final rubber band is kind of a in between, not as wide as the first one, but not as skinny as the second one. And that gives me three different stripes. So I'm going to ink these rubber bands up just like they were a rubber stamp. I'm just patting on some dusty rose ink and then I'm going to stamp this on an angle going down my entire card. So you might notice that this technique looks a little more distressed than maybe a rubber stamp or a background stamp would look. And that's because rubber stamps really weren't designed to be, I'm sorry, rubber bands weren't designed to be rubber stamps. However, they really work well. And you can clean them with the tidy towel in between colors. And now I'm using grass green to go down the other side of this panel. This panel measures three and a half inches by five inches. Uh, by four and three quarter inches and you can cut this with master layouts too if you prefer. I just cut this one with a paper cutter. So I'm finishing up my green color and then I'm going to mount that piece of cardstock onto a black panel and then onto a white card base. Now I have some of our double stitched and single stitched ovals. I layered them together and I used a little greeting from the Timeless Poppies mini stamp set that says, hello friend. And then I'm just using some of the watercolor floral ephemera from the kit that's coming back in stock uh, for our next release on May 17th. I'm just using the bits and pieces from that to create a little flower bouquet up there. And I'm popping up the flowers with some foam squares. And to make them look like two different flowers, I'm just changing the orientation. And that's really all you need to do to make them look different. So one's facing to the right and then the bottom one is facing to the left. So that's my finished card. Now I did a sample card to try this technique out and I added a few of the Gina K Designs dew drops so it looks like there's some little water droplets on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll give this technique a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more stamp and chat live videos too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon.